love. Yeah. I know. It's okay. I am a terrible grandmother. I'm sorry. I know. I am. I'm gonna dry you now, okay? I'm so sorry. I know. You hate my guts right now. It's okay. Okay, so let's talk about Mocha's boy. He's a little crazy boy with that hair. Um, Gaia's biting my camera, but if you look at him, uh, he's shaved on the top and then he has long hair on the sides. And that is because he um, has very like matted hair, winter hair that he has. I don't know if you can see it. So I started shaving him and then I realized, or not shaving him, clipping him, and then I realized that it was getting stuck. And I, I think what he needs is a good bath before we shave him. So today it's going to be his turn. So for the bath, during the summertime, it happens outside. You guys seen me do it in the sink, my kitchen sink, several times. But during the summertime, I try to do it in the sun. Right now, I feel like the other hose is not doesn't have enough juice to move so much water. So I am going to just grab a towel, a toad, and some shampoo. And I'm gonna get this started. I'll put them in here and I'll scrub them. I'll do a very quick kind of situation. I just wanna make sure that I scrub them. This water comes from over there. There's a little Y for different hoses that come from the creek down there, so. It's better to be closer so the pressure hits better. So now I'm going to bring the baby coat and I will show you what we're doing. I tried to put the camera and I think it just fell right as I was trying to film it. But you get the idea. Uh, it's very cold. The water is cold. So it's kind of a, a super quick bath that we need to do. And it's already feeling better. <laughs> he was kind of in shock for a little bit over there. Now, I don't typically leave any baby goats to dry, air dry, to call it something. I usually just do the, the hair dryer too. Because I don't want them to be with a low temperature for a long time. Now, this guy still has his testicles. And it's because he's been struggling and been sick. And one of the things that can stress them a lot is being weathered. He is not pursuing any girls. He has no will to do anything like that. So I'm not worried about it. But that's why he's getting a full bath. Right, baby? Right, love. Yeah. I know, it's okay. I am a terrible grandmother, I'm sorry. I know, I am. I'm gonna dry you now, okay? I'm so sorry. I know, you hate my guts right now. It's okay. Fortunately, the baby being there, I didn't film. And I usually feed the girls like something yummy when I'm trying to give them bath. Because otherwise, this is the time that they want to be in here, being crazy, because they think it's dinner time. So in order for me to be able to do all the things. Now, he is cold, so uh, maybe I should have done this earlier. And he's shivering. So I am trying to have my daughter connect the extension cable to this so I can drive him off completely. He is gonna get the whole package his hooves trimmed he's gonna get a little bit of selenium and i'm gonna check his formage score i mean he's gonna get the whole thing okay i just gave him some alfalfa while i prepare for him now i don't have good clippers I mean they're good enough for what I do but they're not professional ones that you use for when you're gonna take uh, your goats to competitions this is like a, a horse 
shaving thing and it does have two different settings I usually do the longer setting and unless they're too matted and unless it's too bad then yeah I do the other setting but it does work like right now it's getting stuck in the hair but it's way better than what it was now if you're asking me if they love this no they don't love this but it's what needs to happen if you're patient then with the second setting you can shave them and they still have somewhat of longish hair he's trying to eat his pellets uh, you can go with the hair, you can go against the hair. If you go against the hair, it kind of cuts it shorter. Um, but in this case, it's such a long trim that it does take you longer when you're trying to shave, but not too much. If you go to the other setting, where, and this is okay it's not a tutorial but I'm just saying if you want to shave them I think this is like $40 or I think that's how much I paid for it so shorter or longer just with this little handle here and if I get frustrated I will do super short because it's easier but if I can help it I'll try to use this longer one Now he was doing better with weight before he got coccidia, but he lost a lot of weight when he started scouring, and that's what happens. Now the chances of him 100% recovering are very, I mean, they're likely, I mean, it's likely that he will recover 100%, but there's also a higher percentage chance that he will stay very, very little because at the point where he was, um, probably got some damage to his intestines and that way he cannot absorb all the nutrients from the food so it takes him a really long time to gain weight to keep weight and although he's not losing any weight uh, starting at seven pounds being four months old it's not a really great number so okay it is the next day and there he is all shaved I had to shave him all the way down to nothing because he had a lot of dead hair and matted hair so he needed a little sweater for the night it's about noon and the sun just came out it's been kind of cold in the morning but i did the same the same length to him and as you can see he's growing really shiny beautiful hair and i shave with him i mean i have to say shave because it's really really the shortest setting two weeks ago so then they start growing it but right now he looks a little sad with all that hair and there he is but So here he is, I just gave it to him. I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. I just did it to the mark that I just showed you. I have to say that it's a pain in the neck to scoop it out of this. One of the things that I found to be true and very useful to me anyways is, or with my herd, is to give probiotics about three to four hours after I deworm them. They don't do, I mean, they bounce back better. And like I said, my experience with the warmer, it's been more on kids than adults. So hopefully now that he is shaved, uh, he had a lot of dead hair on him and he had a lot of, um, I don't know, They he just had a lot of matted, almost like wool 
situation and so I feel like that it, it was taking him a really long time to shed his winter coat because his or his immune system and his body is working so hard to fight all the worms and all the things when he had the coccidiosis when he had you know his body is just trying to um, keep up with what is happening to him so like I had to shave him pretty close and like I said it's not completely all the way but I'm gonna show you he has very dairy skin can you see that skin that's the kind of skin he has which it's a good thing for breeding stock not that he will be but it's a good thing but what happens is as you're clipping them uh, you can get those little so there are some parts where I left it longer because again this is not going to be a clip for a show so you can see can you maybe you can see it right there but can you see his dairy skin uh yeah it's 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 kind of tricky when you are trying to oh you just want kisses my love okay oh that was your stomach that was no fart that was his stomach so anyways, I wanted to show you, he's going to go out, and yes, I'm sure that where you are, it's like 100 degrees, and you're probably thinking, why does he have a sweater? Uh, it's cold here, it's been, uh, really, we had this marine layer all day long, and it's been probably in the 60s, but with the wind and no sun it's been pretty chilly all day so i can't have this wonderful wrinkle show enough for the people of the world i found also that it's more it's harder to shave little babies uh even though their their bodies are smaller they're really hard to shave when um they're this small and awkward because it's it's kind of hard for me to be gentle enough like bigger goats have tougher skin baby goats have very at least they have very delicate skin so anyways I do warm him I'm gonna give him his uh, probiotics in about three hours and I am going to follow up with another dose of ivermectin in about 10 days which is what I was advised um, that can happen even three times because you have to make sure that there's no more eggs hatching and sometimes it takes um, about 20 days the whole process so from now 10 days and then 10 more days and he should be all good to go his fecal showed that he needed ivermectin specifically and again I treated him for coccidia so what happens is that they are their immune system is so low that any kind of uh, parasites that they have naturally in their gut or in their intestines they, they just overtake their body so uh, but in my experience once you try try treat the coccidia and you treat the worms if they are fighting babies like this one like he really wants to live then you have a pretty good chance that they will just grow out of this horrible warm season that they're going through in their lives so there is hope for him I will continue to fight for him and and you know do whatever it takes he has just a new little color as you can see right here he goes around making noise I love you and um, he has his cute little sweater so he is the well-dressed baby of this pen and uh, all of this it's because he's very mellow I mean he's always been but he's even more now because he is fighting anemia so I'm gonna start chlorophyll as well I'm just waiting to for it to get to me I ordered it last night and that's how I'm gonna treat him. I feel like red cell is not doing the trick with him uh, when he's anemic, so I'm gonna try chlorophyll. It's supposed to work within three days. So I'll do another video about it and I'll show you, but I'm gonna try to catch this on camera. His FOMACHA score is not great. Well, it's a little better than what it used to be, but it's still not great, so. We will treat him for anemia. I mean, at this point, I think I've done 
<laughs> everything that I could, including this horrible clipping. But you'll see him in a couple of weeks. He's going to be the cutest, shiniest hair boy in this entire pen. He's like, me? You sure? I've never been. Look at this. <laughs> and one of those when those kids go through something as bad as they have like toad and him i feel like they're so grateful to be alive and they're so friendly and they're just they make the best pets so i don't you know i never want to be in that position now if this was a seven thousand dollar surgery i would have you know thought about it and, and decide then but you know it's a little bit here a little bit there you know, medicine by, bought here and there, and I'm okay with that, as long as they can, you know, thrive in the future. And Toad is, I, I'm gonna try to put a little clip of him. Look at Toad. He's such a healthy and happy boy. He loves living with the girls. My husband was telling me, maybe it's time for him to move with the boys so he doesn't ex get, you know, into, the milkers food or stuff like that but I just I can't put him with the boys because he's just so happy to be here he loves to play with Aria that's who he is fighting with it's, that's Aria right there and they're all day look they're all day picking up fights with each other so I'm hoping that this little boy Mocha's little boy is going to have the same result you know that's what i'm hoping for so they can move out together to their new place which is a farm near us um and i just want them and this person knows all the struggles i would never sell them with the idea of oh they're these are the healthiest baby goats that she knows that they're you know they won't leave here unless they are a hundred percent good and toad is a hundred percent good he could leave today but I want them to be together because they both had a really um, hard start in life and I feel like they love each other, they sleep together, they're very bonded even though you know they're different, different in not only size but also years. Um, Toad is a year old and this little one is four months old but they still love each other and I just think that this happened so they could be together honestly I think like it was meant to be and I am happy to report that he's still around he's still with us and that he's still fighting and he's still eating and he's still you know he has his weaknesses and some days he's a little bit more uh, lazy you know just not not doing as much but he's still he's still doing great so I wanted to update you with that because I said I would update you and, and I didn't. So I truly appreciate you coming back for that. Over there is the west. So the sun is slowly going down and kind of changing all the settings. Hopefully the lighting is not too, too, too weird in this video. But if you're new to the channel and you like to watch more videos like this, Please remember to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment down below. Talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.